I'm Zor. Welcome to Unizor Education. Um, I will consider the second problem today uh, in the uh, graphs area. Um, you uh, learned the manipulations with uh, graphs. Um, if you add something to an argument, you multiply uh, an argument or a function, add or multiply. Um, those were basically repetitions of, of the theoretical material. These will be real problems, which uh, I will ask you to press the pause button and try to solve yourself. Um, my first problem is, actually it's like three problems within the same area rel uh, related to absolute value of, uh, of, of the numbers. Now, you know that absolute value is um, not strictly defined as this is the number without sign which means basically for a positive, like 2, that's the 2 itself, and for the negative, you drop the sign, so from minus, let's say, 25, the absolute value is 25. All right, this is a non-mathematical definition. What's the more rigid definition in this case is the following. Uh, absolute value of x is equal to x for positive or 0 x, that's what actually they were uh, saying when the number without the sign, which means for the positive, that's the number itself. For the positive numbers, that's the number itself. For the negative numbers, let's say x is equal to minus 25. Um, we know that absolute value in this case is equal to 25. What is 25 relative to minus 25? Well, that's minus x, right? So for negative x, absolute value of x is minus x. So that's the strict definition of, uh, of the absolute value. All right, so let's consider we know about this. Keep it in mind. Now the problem. Problem related to graphs, we start with a very simple one. Well, let's draw the function graph of y is equal to absolute value of x. Um, here, there are many different ways of approaching this thing. Um, one very simple way is the following. If you remember, during the uh, theoretical lecture, I was talking about odd and even functions, where even where those functions which are not changing if you change the argument uh, argument sign. Let's say if you change from 25 to minus 25, the value of the function will be exactly the same. Well, this is the case. This is exactly an even function. And as you remember, um, even functions uh, have graphs which are uh, symmetrical relative to the y-axis, vertical axis. So, how to, to draw this graph very simply? Well, let's do it this way. Let's draw it for positive x and then symmetrically reflect to the negative part, to the uh, negative x part. So you know that the positive x, module, uh, absolute value of x is equal to x, so it's this function y is equal to x, but I restrict it only to the positive and the zero. Now, we have to symmetrically reflect it um, relative to the vertical y-axis. So what will be the graph? Well, obviously, this will be. So that's the graph of y equals the absolute value of x. So this angle, a, 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 angle type thing. Um, OK, from another perspective, we can do it um, based on the definition. Now, as I was saying, uh, absolute value of x is equal to x for positive uh, x or 0, which is this part. So from the function y is equal to x, let me return it back to the x. I have to cut only the piece where it's defined, in this case, for x greater or equal to 0. x greater or equal to 0. Now, for negative x, absolute value is minus x. So we have to draw a graph of function y equals to minus x.
Now, why is it this straight line? Well, you remember that if you have a function y equals x, and you would like to multiply it by minus 1, y equals minus x, then um, my, uh, multiplication of the function by minus 1 is actually reflecting relative to um, the x-axis. So they're basically reflected this way. So the whole graph moves this way. What's interesting about the function y equals x, um, y equals minus x can be considered as the whole function multiplied by minus 1. Uh, in which case it's reflection relative to the x-axis. But at the same time, I'm multiplying argument by minus 1. And in this case, if you remember, this is the reflection relative to the y-axis. But what's again interesting is that this straight line, whether reflected relative to the x-axis, you will get this, or reflected to y-axis, you will still get exactly the same thing. It's the property of the y equals x, because that's argument and the function which are exactly the same. All right, so anyway, this is the function y equals to minus x, and I have to cut only those uh, uh, pieces which belong to negative x. <coughs> so, by combining these two graphs together, this piece on the positive and this piece on the negative, I come up with exactly the same um, graph as, uh, <coughs> sorry, as I did when I just used the uh, the property of the function y equals absolute value of x of being even. All right, so this is easy. Now more difficult thing is y equals to x minus 1 plus x plus 1. Here you can press the pause button, think about this yourself, and I will start uh, discussing this issue. thought about this problem, and um, there are actually two ways, same thing as in this particular case, by the way, two ways of drawing this graph. One way is um, basically have a graph of x minus 1, absolute value, and x plus 1, x absolute value, and add them together. We know how to add graphs. It was part of the theory, uh, theoretical lecture which we had. All right, let's, let's do it, and we'll, we'll try to do it as simple as possible. Now, Absolute value of x minus 1, you know by now that this is shifted to the right. Graph of uh, y equals to absolute value of x. Why right? Because we're subtracting from an argument positive constant y. So it will be this way. Now, same thing here, but the shift will be to the left by 1. So it's minus 1. Obviously, at 0, both x minus 1 absolute value and x plus 1 absolute value are equal to 1, both of them. So they cross this point. Now, <clears throat> how to add these two graphs together? Simple. Let's start with 0. You obviously get 2 as a sum. 1 and one graph and 1 and another graph. So you get 2. Then, as you move to the right, one graph goes down, another graph goes up, and obviously they are symmetrical, so whatever uh, amount this diminishing, this one is increasing. This goes down, this goes up. So when you add them up together, you still get exactly the same value, too. So the function graph will be constant for a while, up to this point and this point. Now, at these points, behavior is changing. This graph is increasing, and this graph is increasing. So sum will be increasing, and by the way, it's increasing uh, twice as fast, right? Same thing here. This one is uh, increasing in height, and this one is increasing in height. So some of them will be increasing and faster. So faster here and faster there. So our uh, graph will be this 
this and this. But this is a qualitative um, uh, analysis of the graph. Because I was talking about manipulation of the graph when you are adding, uh, subtracting, multiplying graphs, etc. These are all qualitative analysis. Um, let's do it a little bit more precise with precise numbers, etc. And that we can do based on the definitions which we have. Doing problems. Okay. What's the definition? Well, definition of absolute value of x minus 1 depends on whether x is uh, greater than 1 or less than 1. In this particular case, the definition of absolute value of x plus 1 depends on whether x plus 1, positive or negative, which means x is greater than minus 1 or less. So, it's valid to consider uh, the critical points which we have, which are minus 1 and plus 1. So this is the critical point for 1, and this is the critical point for another absolute value. So we will divide the whole x-axis into three segments, 1, 2, and 3. And we will consider the value of this function separately in these segments. Okay. Um, if you didn't press the pause button, it's not too late, because this is a nice clue, and uh, and now we'll continue with this. <clears throat> okay, so let's consider our function on this segment. So if x is less than minus 1, what happens with this expression? Well, simple. By itself, x minus 1, when x is less than minus 1, is negative. If this expression is negative, then absolute value is its reverse. So it's y is equal to x minus 1. How about this expression? Again, if x is less than minus 1, this is negative. So the absolute value is its reverse. So I have to put minus x plus 1, which is equal to what? Oops, I forgot to put minus here. Sorry. Reverse of x minus 1 and reverse of x plus 1. So it's minus and minus. So what will be here? Minus x and minus x. It's minus 2x, and plus 1 minus 1 nullifies each other. Great. Now, next interval is from minus 1 to 1. Minus 1 to 1. And y is equal to? Well, since x is less than 1, then this thing is still negative, so I still have to reverse. Now, but this thing now, since x is greater than minus 1, x plus 1 is positive, so the absolute value is itself. So I have to just retain what it is. And what is this? Minus x plus x nullifies uh, 1 and 1, 2. It's constant. So during uh, changing of the x from minus 1 to 1, on this segment, it's constant. By the way, if you remember, our graph was like this, right? So this is basically this horizontal piece. When we were researching how it looks, just adding two graphs together. OK, let's swipe it out. And the third one, if, uh, if x is greater than 1, then both expressions are positive, so we have to retain the signs, so it will be x minus 1 plus x plus 1 equal to 
um, x and x it's 2x, minus 1 plus 1 nullifies, so it's 2x. Okay, so basically that's what we have. This expression is equal to this, this, and this on these three different segments. Just let's check it out. This function on the boundary when it's minus 1 is equal to 2, and this one is equal to 2. So they are coming together from this graph and from this graph. They're coming together into one and the same point. x is equal to minus 1, and y is equal to 2. Now, in this critical point, we also have to check if our graph on the left and our graph on the right are coming into the same point. Graph on the left, if x is equal to 1, is equal to 2. And graph on the right, if x is equal to 1, is also equal to 2. So they are coming into the same point. That's very important as a checking. So basically, you know the game right now. It's very simple. You have three graphs. You have uh, minus 2x, uh, 2, and plus 2x. But from the minus 2x, we have to cut only x less than minus 1. So this is obviously minus 1. And this is plus 1. So we cut this piece. From 2, we cut only the piece from minus 1 to minus 2. So we cut this guy and this guy. And finally, from y is equal to 2x, we have to consider only x greater than 1, which means this. which obviously leaves us with the same graph 